Hi everybody, how are you? I hope everybody's fine and will come again in this new video, which in fact should be uh, should have been done earlier, but uh, I really was uh, very busy and didn't manage to find any uh, spare time to do it uh, earlier. But anyway, uh, here we are. Let's uh, check the subject of the video of this video. So. Uh, as you already have uh, seen, uh, it's about how to clean damped me regions version 2 and 3. But before doing that, before uh, tackling our examples in this video, I'd really like to thank our ERA Discord server members that joined our server. So, as you all know, uh, era discord server has been launched two months ago and for those who didn't know yet now you know it and uh, you are welcome to join us in the server and um, uh, concerning the server uh, i received a lot of uh, requests or uh, questions about uh, why uh, i can't uh, comment or participate in uh, the channels which means that uh, some guys have joined but uh, the channels are locked for them in fact uh, you simply need to as far as you join our server you simply need to uh, check the server gu server guidelines and once you are in that channel you just push this uh, rules uh, button here this one once you uh, do it like this you will uh, receive these uh, instructions about our server or these rules and at the same time we will be you will be uh, verified as a verified member of the server and then you will get access to all the channels uh that's it and uh, let's go back to our work so uh, in fact clean me version uh, two and three are uh, easy thing to do and they are uh, exactly tackled the same way so two and three there uh, there's no difference in the procedures which we have to follow. Uh, the only thing you need to uh, be sure of is to gather all the necessary tools for that. And uh, for those tools, don't be worried, there will be uh, download links in the description of the video and the files will be available on our Discord server. And if any question, you can ask there. Anyway, let's uh, begin by, as you can see here, we have two folders. I have already uh, downloaded, uh, downloaded everything. I have also uh, searched for uh, temps as an example for this video. So let's tackle the Mi version uh, 2 first. As you can see here, we have the Intel Me Firmware Repository Pack, we have uh, the DAMP, and we have the Me System Tools. We will need Me Analyzer, we, I have it here on my desktop. So, uh, in fact, you can put all the necessary tools in, the, in one uh, folder, which we, you can make as your working folder to make things organized and easy to follow so first thing to do is to analyze the damp so this is the first thing to do let's bring it here as it opened in the second screen hit enter hit keyboard and we have what we need as information about the uh, repository or the me file which we will need to use to clean our original damp so we go to the repository pack 
uh, it's better to uh, download the whole pack to your uh, PC or to your laptop uh, so that you can, uh, whenever you need any file, you will find it there concerning this version uh, 2 and 3. So let's open this uh, pack. Again, let's open this folder inside the RAR file and let's look for the exact file as we have here in Mi Analyzer. So it's 2631032. This is it. And it's the only file which we have with the, the same number version. And it looks like uh, our file. Yes, I am there as a SKU. We have pair D, which means production. And we have XTR, which means extracted. So that's the file. We just drag it to our uh, working folder. And now we will need, let's close the RAR file. Now we will need the uh, system uh, flash image uh, tool. So let's open this folder, this RAR file. Again, open here and we will need this flash image tool folder. Uh, we drag it here and let's close the RAR file. Now, as we have everything here, we have the repository, we have the dump, we have the flash image tool. And it's better to put the repository and the dump inside the flash image tool folder. So let's just copy like this and paste everything here inside the flash image tool folder. Uh, it's not obligatory to do that, but uh, it's better to do it as you will uh, be uh, uh, redirected to the same working folder whenever you need to uh, replace the region or um, to save the configuration file or open the dump with the flash image tool etc so uh, things uh, will be uh, will organize and you won't be confused with, especially when you have a lot of uh, dumps to clean uh, at the same time so now what we need is to open the flash image tool by double clicking on it and we simply drag and drop the uh, dump to the tool here we are faced with this uh, message we say which says save changes to untitled .xml, which is the configuration file, uh, temporary con configuration file of uh, flash image tool. And as we still haven't yet done any changes to the file, so we just answer by no. Okay. Now, uh, in fact, for uh, version 2 and 3, there's not a lot of things to change in the configuration. Uh, of the file unless there's a special uh, mod you need to do to your damp so you just go to build then build setting and you uncheck this generate intermediate build files and you hit ok that's it and you save as you save the configuration file as let's skip the you can keep the default uh, name or if you are going to do a lot of uh, clean me it's better to uh, name them uh, to names that you can allow you to differentiate between uh, the different configuration files uh, to not open uh, the wrong file when uh, you will uh, have to build the image so let's save let's pay attention to where to save it it's better to save it in the flash image tool folder this one here so as far as we click save we will get it here here it is where here we name it version 2 and here it is now you just close the flash image tool.
you as you have noticed here we have two folders which were not there before so these two folders in fact uh, was generated by the flash image tool this one has the name of our damp which contains the partitions of our damp and this one weld it's an empty one which uh, is um, uh, reserved to uh, save the image one once we weld it with our flash image tool uh, you can save it whenever wherever you want but to make things uh, clear and uh, organized you can use this folder to save your flash your uh, clean me uh, out image so now we copy the repository or the me file and we paste it in the folder containing the partitions of our bios and among those partitions we have the me region which concerns us in this video so we highlight we click on the me region to highlight it and uh, rename it or uh, sorry uh, take out the name by uh, using cut with your uh, mouse or just Control X and you give that name to the uh, new repository uh, which we will use with this file to clean it so F2 and Control V to give it the name of me region for this one which is the old me region to which we have taken the name you can keep it there or delete it it doesn't matter it doesn't hurt your uh, image will be built without any uh, issue or error so now you simply reopen the flash image tool and you go to file and you open what now we will open the configuration file pay attention there's an error which some uh, technicians do and they open the damp uh, again and they uh, they go to build and build image so if you do that you know what happens if you do that if you do that in fact whenever you open again the damp in the second step instead of opening the configuration file the partitions here will be again overwritten which means that you will get the main region the old one here the old one i mean the main region of the dump and if you build the image then you will end up with your dump with no changes no clean me done in that case and that won't solve your problem you will still have the same issue with your laptop or your pc so pay attention in the second time we open the configuration file and our configuration file is this one version 2 double click here again we are asked to save changes we don't need we all the changes which we have made have already been saved in the first step and to check that we can go to build build setting and check we have this unchecked so that's fine and we simply go to build and we build our image like this we will be asked to give it a name and choose where to uh, save it let's um, call it clean me sorry clean me v like this simply and it's saving uh, the build folder like this so go back here to build and we have the clean me file or the out image or the image which we have just built with the flash image tool 
So it's the same thing with version 3, uh, but before going to version 3, uh, let's, uh, let's see uh, the case in which we want, for example, to update the MIRI region, which means we want to use another a new MIRI region with our file, if needed, in fact, if needed to update. So uh, we either uh, try to find the me uh, engine file in the branch support which is a good thing to do because we will get a ready file a clean file with the settings of the machine and we just replace the me region of our dump without any changes or we can uh, search for a file provided by Intel and we will need to do the same steps as seen in this video. In our case, for example, here we have the dump is for Lenovo ThinkPad T61. And for Lenovo and Dell, we can find management engine files in their support. So, uh we just go to our browser and so let's uh, let's copy this name like this and let's go to our browser and uh, paste it there and uh, let's add the drivers enter so Let's see if we have something here. Drivers, let's, um, let's port BIOS instead of drivers, like this. BIOS update utility, let's check care. So we have the BIOS, the BIOS and uh, Let's just go to support like this. And view uh, PC and we can do this. RT61 and hit enter. So we have uh, ThinkPad 61 here. Let's choose this first one now it's an old product that's why okay let's let's do let's do it otherwise let's do it like this let me support like this and no not like this place here uh, here we have it here we have it yes here we have it. so we have think part 61 61p and all these uh in fact share the same management engine file and we have the file here so management engine interface there this is the executable file and we have the um, readme text which we can check first let's put this to english yes and let's uh, close this let's download so here we have the the information about our management engine and uh, if you pay attention here, you will have all the necessary informations here concerning this version. So, and in fact, we can do it otherwise. To let me show you, we can use the this number. We can use this number like this. Copy like this go to our browser let's paste here 
and let's add me simply and here we have it so it's Lenovo and we can go directly here and we have our file so again we check the text file close this check and uh, let's browse in here this is what I need so as you can see here all these versions here can be interchangeable which means that we can change any version uh, of these files with any one of uh, the others uh, in fact these are the uh, updates the releases done by uh, Lenovo so this is the text file now let's uh, download the executable file and let's put it in our working folder which is in uh, desktop uh, uh, where clean me version here let's create folder let's name it as usual exe so i usually like to use exe as the name of folders in which i put the executable files and uh, let's go to our folder so we have let's close this we don't need it for the time being let's reduce this so we have our executable file here so it's an executable file so we need to extract the me binary file from it let's try the universal extractor here let's check if we will get something if not so we have application let's see what do we have inside yes we have it we have it and we can check it with me analyzer so enter and we have a new version instead of this one so you can see here this is 2650 10 50 56 and this is 263 10 32 so we can use this new one to update our me uh, management engine uh, of in our use uh, image let's reduce this so this what to do if uh, for example you didn't manage to uh, to extract the file the binary file from the executor file you simply use the you know extractor you know extractor you know extractor which is a free tool which you can download uh, from internet anyway there will be a uh, link to download it from our discord server and here is the file we just drag it here and it says that we already have the file there and let's just replace it uh, replace that's it so close this now let's copy this file like this let's go back so flash image tool uh, let's uh, in fact let's do this so as you can see here we have some files generated by the flash image tool so it's better to use another folder uh, to uh, uh, do another uh, clean me or in or to build another image so we will we will do that like this let's uh, open flash image to like this let's open the exe let's put it here let's flash image to here yes and inside of it let's copy let's paste the repository close and now let's bring also the dump 
copy flash image tool exit here flash image tool and paste so as before we have what we need but this time as we have downloaded the file from from uh, Lenovo Studio we uh, we in fact don't need uh, to do any changes concerning the configuration so we simply have to open the flash image tool like this in fact i mean by uh, we don't need to make any uh, configuration to any changes to configuration file if there's any, any other changes which we have to do uh, uh, except uh, except this one this one we should uh, uncheck it whenever we have to do a clean image so we will uncheck it like this hit ok and no not that we have to open the uh, damp first like this and as before we answer by no so we got again okay, the folder with the partitions now we go to weld and weld setting again we uncheck this okay and we bring this file copy here and we go to my region and again f2 control x and we give the name to this one f2 control v that's it now we just build the image so we don't need to save the configuration file we can just go to build and directly build the image like this we have to check where so it's xz and it's n flash image tool inside xz folder okay and we go to build we open it and there we uh, call it clean me update so let's add her version 2 uh, sorry version 2 like this and let's save here we have it and if we check with me analyzer we will notice that the meridian is updated not like in the damp this is the damp we have 2633 uh, 1033 and here we have 2650 1056 and for for this we have here update so it's an update and it's empty that's it and whenever applied to your machine the machine will perform many restarts uh, for Lenovo sometimes the restarts are not uh, visible we cannot notice the restarts for Dells we notice that uh, the machine uh, performs some restarts before uh, posting in a so whenever you apply the clean me to any machine you have to be patient and uh, wait until you got the image this is it we came to the end of, uh, of the video uh, i don't think it's necessary to do the version 3 as it's the same thing uh, same procedure uh, except that we will use a different repository and a different flash image tool but it's the same thing one thing to do in the uh, in the settings when 
you will save your configuration file is to uncheck the uh, this box of uh, sorry this box here concerning generating intermediate build files I hope it's clear and I hope some of you have learned something new in fact this version of clean me is not uh, um, really something which is common in our job this old meridian gets in fact corrupted uh, rarely not like the new ones so personally i haven't done a lot of mm, clean me of these old versions to be honest but uh, yes we need to learn how to do it in case we need to fix a machine having an issue with the me region this is it i will uh, stop here to avoid making this video a long video i know that most of people don't like uh, to watch long videos and if any question it's better to come to our era discord server and ask whatever you want i will answer your questions whenever i am ready and if ever i didn't notice your question you can uh, uh, ping me with a direct message I, I everybody is welcome to send me direct messages if ever uh, and answer your questions in the server but the answers will be in the server as i usually do i don't answer in uh, private why simply to allow others to mm, learn uh, things and uh, if anyone uh, asks uh, a question which I already have answered before I will just give him the link to the answer so that we all save valuable time for other things thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video bye bye